What's up, guys? Piper here, bringing you to me doing some MM Hunter PvP action. Just brushing off my desk there. I've had some really bad issues with my Nari recently. Where um, I actually use one of their um, mouse pads. I think it's called a Svex or some shit. I bought it a long time ago, and for some reason, the Svex plus the Naga, they just don't go together. Like, for some reason, if I use the Naga on it, like, it's the new one, by the way, the 2014 Naga, it just loses tracking every single time. Whereas if I take it away, and just use it on the like the bare desk, it works absolutely fine. Not too sure why that is, not too sure like at all why that is, to be honest. And stun by rogue, they're gonna just dis I luckily disengage it and also train it mid-air, so there's no like loss of movement there. I'm gonna trap the rogue if I can get away from him there. I actually cannot trap because he disarmed me there. Very nice disarm by the rogue. So if I can get away, you know, put that body shot on him there as well. Just to get a stun off and keep Kai. I see the major back there with no the health, so I'm just gonna put a chimp shot on her. Probably the turn to stay alive from the rogue. And get a master's call if I can. There it is. Switch back to the rogue here. The healer is up here, but he's getting attacked. He's getting some blade storms on top of him. Or is that one of my guys' blades? It's hard to tell sometimes. I think it's one of my guys. I have to probably another deterrence here if I can, or am I going to be dead? I might be dead here. And I'm dead. Sitting in stuns for days. One of the putrid, putrid things about PvP these days seems to be that you just sit in stuns. But, you know, I, I can't really fucking argue with it. But yeah, so I'm just, just a little tip for you guys if you're having troubles with your new raising or whatever. Um, try it on a different service because it, it works it literally works fine on like on the desk works horribly on the like I would like be playing and then all of a sudden just loses tracking 100% and it pissed me off a lot but uh, what I wanted to talk about today was um, it's a bit of a touchy subject especially for um, well, let me just get into it number one and I'm pretty sure literally every single guy is going to agree with me especially if you've ever experienced anything like this but it, basically what I happened was I saw a video on Reddit and the video is of a dude who is a taxi driver and he's trying to basically uh, be propositioned or seduced, I guess would be the word, into having sex with some girl who he's, I guess, giving a lift to. And the video cuts to basically her trying to, she like has her legs in his lap and is basically trying to get his dick out of his pants. The entire time the guy's sitting there saying, no, I don't want to do this, I have to leave, I have a girlfriend, I don't want to do any of this. And the entire time she sits there saying, no, let's do it. Um, and she continuously tries to get like get, it, get his dick out of his pants. And I watched it, and then Kat watched it. And Kat made the comment that was, um, you know, why doesn't he just push her off? Why doesn't he just push her off and, like, move away? As soon as she said that, I was like, it's such like a, um, it's, it must be weird as guys to know, like, you aren't able to do that. And I, try, I had to try and explain to her that, like, if you're a guy and a girl is, number one, trying to have sex with you, if she's tr propositioning yourself and trying to get, like, in your pants, it's considered strange, it's considered weird, it's considered fucked up if you'd say no. It's considered like you're a faggot, for less of a better word, that if you don't want to then have sex with her. Even if he has a girlfriend, even if he's saying no, he's considered a faggot. And because of this, it leads to this weird situation where a guy says no, they can't really talk to anyone about like what just happened because it, for instance if, it, say the guy did push her off say he, like pushed her off and like pushed her in the back of the seat imagine if she then called the police imagine if this girl then calls the police mentions what happens and all she has to say is you know i well, i was interested in having sex so i i i asked to have sex and blah 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 and he said no but when he said no he pushed me off me and physically abused me that's all she would have to say, and any police officer in the world is going to be on her side immediately. Immediately. There's not going to be any any thought to him. There's not going to be any, like, oh my god, dude, like, tell me your side of the story. No. What just happened is this attractive girl tried to have sex with this guy. Obviously, th for that would have been absolutely, he would have been fine with that. But he then pushed her, therefore it's physical assault. He's going to uh, have to go to court and deal with this. Yeah, that's just the way the system works right now. Women, and it's it's not even like a good, I'm not like saying it's a bad thing for women. I'm just saying like it sucks because it, it's, it comes from a society where everyone bases women as victims. Um, because everyone sees a woman as a victim or a woman as a victim, then when anything happens where a woman isn't the victim and in particular is the, is the villain in the scenario, um, if she's doing that and then... Any, anyone comes onto the scene, for some reason, everyone automatically thinks she must be the victim. She, it, it's like this weird stigma that women are weak, like they're these weak things. So everyone puts like this victim flag over their head. And it's weird. And it's, it's weird because it, it all comes from like sexism and sexism basically just in every single asset of life. 
and it sucks because obviously it does affect that poor guy and the poor guy i felt so sorry for him because he's sitting there saying like no i have a girlfriend i want i want to leave can i just need to get out of here i'll t and he's being nice the entire time like no i'll just take you home i'll drive you home i'm faithful to my girlfriend and it's like jesus Christ. like just get the off the poor guy for fucks the poor dude it, like has said no and it, it was very close to being rape like if she, i i would honestly say that if like she somehow got his dick out of his pants and like started to actually sexually touch him then it would have actually been rape or at least sexual assault. like what she was doing with sexual assault to be honest like any anything that like um uh anything that happens to you in a sexual manner can pretty much be classified as sexual assault but the bad thing is he literally wouldn't have been able to call the police or do anything because it automatically would have been no this is the girl's the victim here end of story and it sucks it really sucks because I don't understand why, as a society, especially wise men, like, why do men feel the need to see women as a victim? Like, why is that a thing? Why does everyone just sit around and be like, oh, like, this, these poor helpless girls need my help? Like, like, what? I guess, like, it's a, it's a masculinity thing. Like, for some reason, guys feel like they need to be the, the knight in shining armor. They need to be the guy that, um, comes in and saves the day or whatever. Like, obviously, like, that probably feels amazing. It probably feels like, yeah, you did the right thing and it helped. But you shouldn't be doing that because the women as in a whole is like fucking like weak or pathetic or they can't look after themselves. And that's not the case. It's not the fucking case. You should. I'm not saying don't actually help people. I'm just saying when you do it, you should be doing it because it's a person, not because it's a woman. It's it's, it's very strange to me that for some reason it's just it's just grown into this weird thing where guys see women as these weird weak objects. They don't even see them as people half the fucking time. And it's fucking strange, man. Like, it's I don't see anything else like that in, in an aspect of life. You know what I mean? There's no other aspect of life where everyone just... This, this huge group, like 50% of the population, just gets grouped under this umbrella that is a victim. And it's it's even more fucked up when you sit down and think about it and realize that it's, it's that way because, like, men view women as weak. Like, they're not fucking weak. I, some of the strongest people I know, in fact, the strongest people I know... Uh, the, uh, the most fucking reliable and strong people I know are women. Like, that's just a fact. Like, every, nearly every single male presence I've had in my life, I've gotten rid of near, nearly immediately, literally nearly immediately, because I've realized down the track that these people are, they are, in fact, uh, weak. They don't stand up for anything. They got a, they got a spine. Or, for instance, I've had a lot of guys where I've somehow gotten into a fight and it's been like three on one and they'll just like, my friends will just stand there and watch me fight. I've been in the same situation with uh, women who readily fucking try and jump in front of me to take punches for me. And it's like, what the, f like, I, like, it's, it's literally ridiculous to, and it's a strange fucking notion to actively sit down and say, no, women are weak. Obviously, physio like physically and like because of testosterone. Yes, men are technically stronger. They have the ability to build more muscle mass. They have the ability to be bigger guys. But when you talk about being weak or being strong, it's not necessarily just about fucking physical strength. It's about emotional strength and mental strength, which, to be honest, women have a lot more fucking, a uh, lot more uh, advanced, like, mental fucking... They, they just deal with shit a lot easier. They're, technically, I think they actually have, like, more um, neurological... Um, activity in their brain as well like it, it comes off from like back when we were like gather hunters back in the fucking day when we were living in caves women were the ones that would cook and make stuff and look after pretty much everything all guys would do would go out and kill stuff and that kind of like spawned the whole testosterone like guys that are stupid as fuck and then you have all these smart women who are basically looking after everything it's just, it's strange i don't know how i just got onto that topic either like i was talking about fucking the brazen at the start of this video but uh yeah let me know what you think about the video guys have a good day love the video i'll see you next one see you guys Fiber, 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 your sentence, fiber, ah, ah, blame,